What's up everybody? It's Irene underscore Japan. My good people, welcome back to my channel. So, are you watching us for the first time? Kindly consider smashing that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on what? The notification bell. So guys, in today's video, you know it's our last day in the village. So I decided to take all the children to the museum. Actually, we have a local museum around uh, this town and that is where we are going to today you know so i had actually going to inquire about the charges and everything yesterday and my good people the video didn't manage to go out like very early so i'm still going to upload a video that was meant to be uploaded yesterday and then you know in that video i had actually asked for like questions like what uh, do you think i should ask when we visit this local museum here Anyway, let my cousin say hello, Edu. Say hello to our people. And now you have the Travel Commandos t-shirt. Hey, let, me, let, them, let them see the Travel Commando while he was in Jamaica. I am Marwa. Wow, the, the guy that has changed a lot of lives. Just stand. Travel, travel commando wow he's a he's indeed a travel commando and i thank god for him because you see even now like while we are going to town to actually go and see these animals i actually don't know which kind of animals they are there but we will just see just actually continue watching our videos and i know you will love this video so see you see you in the national museum so guys, welcome back to the National Museum. You know, I was here yesterday just to inquire about several things. And as you can see, we are back. And this time with my children and my cousin. So what we are needed to do now is to pay and get to see what the National Museum offers. The good thing with me, I have an e-citizen account. And now I don't know why the government had to do this. Like we just pay through one... Uh, uh, is it payment system yeah so this is a public space and most of the time when there is a function here it's normally held on this space a barrier low. so guys uh let us wait for the person who is uh, in charge or working here wow and we just meet this what is the name of this it's a wow look at this wow Guys, have you ever seen uh, this kind of animal? I'm trying to figure out. Ini, nini? Yeah? It's an ostrich. Oh, a young one of an ostrich. What's the name of a young one of an ostrich? Edu? I also don't know. So guys, let us pay and then uh, I'll continue with my video. So guys, uh, finally, we have paid to enter to the National Museum. So payment uh, using the website, the Kenyan government website, is actually, it's a good experience because it shows that you are also uh, developing or kind of uh, using, bettering our technology when it comes to the payment. So uh, when we use the website, it actually asks for the number of adults if you have come with children and then you have to select which museum specifically there is a drop down list and then you select and as you can see mine here stage booked it's a uh, cabernet and everything so the people that work here will just have to take that uh, serial number the payment you see when you pay there is this unique number to show that you actually paid so that's what you are going to give out now and then all will be well i think after this it's just us going in right yeah so that is it so guys uh, the experience was awesome yeah, i'm just happy that in my country we are actually like uh going step by step step by step and uh, getting away with the old system i think that is the best thing and that uh, we can do oh the mpesa message mm. itself wow so let me show you and then uh -huh. so yeah i think that's the message so yeah guys i can't wait to go and uh take the children in there me i've been here severally but my kids they have never been here so i just brought them to have a good time and the next time we will visit another place and then uh we have 
we have a lot of scenic places. It's not only here. And guys, if you come to Kenya, visit Baringo County. Yeah. And this is one of the places that you can come start with. It's actually in the urban center. Like it's in the headquarters of uh, our county, Baringo County. And then we also have the gorge here. We have uh, zip linings like Baringo, Lake Bogoria, and other fantastic places. You when you use the website, the e-citizen, the drop-down list will just give you all the places, the heritages that you need. You know, even me, for the first time, I've come to know the difference between Ministry of Tourism and Ministry of Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife and Ministry of Tourism and Heritage. Yeah. If I didn't come here today, I wouldn't have known. So, Mom, welcome to Baringo County. Mom, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, my daughter is excited already. So, guys, yeah, welcome, welcome to Baringo. So, guys, here we go inside. So, this is Madam Who. Miriam. Madam Miriam, yeah, she works here. For how long have you been working here? 20 years. Wow! 20 years. I have just been retired. Just uh, working here in the heritage department. Yeah. Wow. Museum. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, what experiences do you have working in the Ministry of Tourism and Heritage? Hey, I have a lot of experience. Uh -huh. I've learned a lot about. Culture. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Which culture? Evolution. Uh, living within Baringo County. Oh, Those who are living our within culture. Baringo County. Uh huh. In Jamus, Tuken, Tokod, Marakwet. So, guys, uh, we are already here. So, this is. Yeah. Place what? Is... Wow. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Is a statue. Wow. So these are calabas. Oh, mm. calabas. Eh, quartz. In it, a quartz. Mm -hmm. eh, yeah, I've never heard about that. Yes. Yeah. Quartz. <laughs> quartz. Oh, or or calabas. You can, you can say calabas. Wow. So, mm. does each of them represent different cultures? Yeah. We are for El Chamus. Uh -huh. We are El Chamus is which one? Yeah. So those are the cultures within mm. Baringo County. Okay, those are the cultures oh. within the Baringo For the Ilchamus. Mm. And this one is for different, 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 uh -huh. different usage. There oh. is for milk. For milk there is, is for which one? Pia. None for For. for. These ones. Milk. They are for milk. This is for milk. This, this is for beer. Fresh milk. Eh, fresh. Eh, no, fresh milk. Uh -huh. Mala. Oh. Eh, this one is for I don't mala. know what mala is called oh. in English. <laughs> I don't know what mala is called, but I'll put eh. something like a picture. And then this one is for oh, making beer. Eh, Still for the ilchamus. Ah, uh, for mix. It's a mixture, eh, but if you want to make traditional beer, this is how the calabash looks like, eh. guys. Look. But they represent different cultures. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. And then this one now? For, for water, carrying water when you are going somewhere. Oh, mm. so for like ceremonies. like now, now we have uh, this modern uh, modern water bottles. Well, yeah. So, so in the past, the, this was they used the, to use this. They used to use this. Wow. And this one is for carrying water. Water again from? Uh -huh. from, 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 from the river. Oh. And this one, you take this one when you are going for your safaris. Traveling. Uh, traveling so that you will be drinking when you are going somewhere. Wow. Mm. So this one is to go to the river. And who is this? Mm. Hey, hey, beautiful mama. <laughs> wow. Hey. Oh, it's coming out. Wow. So this is our typical ladies. But I think this is the Ilchamus. Or the Tugen. The Tugen and the Ilchamus. We are almost coming. Ah. Oh. National clothes. 
Oh yeah, these are like our, our traditional. I think the Maasai are the only people who actually mm. retain their yeah. culture up to now. Don't, 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 don't touch, mama. don't touch anything kindly. Don't you touch. Don't touch polite notes. Yeah, don't touch anything. Let's just look at it. Mm. So this is our culture. Actually, you are supposed to be wearing this up to yeah. now. I think we have been modernized in yeah. some way. What about these ones? What are they used for? Oh, storage of food for 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 Mm -hmm. Fantastic goat skin. Wow. So all this section is clothing and ornaments. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Don't go very very near so that you don't it's break the glass. glass. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> wow, guys, just have a look. Mm. Sitting ornaments, yeah. but it Una is ceremonial. We have numbers, uh -huh. so it will explain when. Wow, stool. Mm. Wow, that is our language, guys. Mm. Yeah. But at the same time, we we are marketing here. Yeah. It's yeah. like a two-way yeah. benefit here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, guys, and then add gear. So these ones are mostly used in ceremonies. And then we have animal husbandry. Oh, so these are used when... When you need to castrate animals. Oh, when you need to castrate an animal? Yes, unaona. Number, number. Which number is that one? Cowbell. Eh, unaona ako imandu kwa stick? Low tick. Low tick, oh. A set of three sticks. Castration of goats, I hope you can see. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yo ni yasa, mani sasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knife. Okay, okay. These are our traditional ornaments. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah from the word heritage and then these are used to be uh is it axe and no jembes yeah, yeah mm -hmm. in the past <coughs> oh before the tractors yeah. that till our lands now okay. this is what we used to do now wow <laughs> Guys, I hope you are learning something. Containers and utensils. Mm. Wow, our utensils before we were modernized. Yeah. I am really happy that. Uh, where did you get all these things? We collected. Oh. To mend the field work. Oh. Boko, you went for field work. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Containers. So, what is this? I don't yeah. even know. The, this one here. Yeah. To store magic. To store water. Mm. Oh, this was a cup. Mm. This was uh, not a cup. Oh, oh. It requires to pick here, kid. Pot. Pot made for cooking. Cooking vegetables. Uh -huh. Oh, for cooking vegetables. Mm. Wow. And then number three, it In was honey that, barrel. Uh, honey was barrel. Uh, wow. Mm. And then that we have food basket. Mm. Wow, I am really <laughs> learning a lot and a lot. Mm. Number ten. Wow, guys. Easy, almost modernized. Oh, modernized. Uh, almost modernized, but apart from this one. This. Mm. Uh, what is this? Mm. A bag. It's a bag. Mm, okay. Yeah. A leather bag cut and sewn from a uh, skin used for carrying food and going to dig in the hills. Oh, it's like the modern yeah, dish. Like so this, this used to be. Yeah. Like this one's supposed to be under some of the Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very true. And then you have spears, traditional spears. Oh, wow, guys, just look at this. You need to visit Baringo kindly. <laughs> visit Baringo and see for yourself. You know, you, are, you will not be able to know like the work of each and every tool unless you come specifically here. And you will see. Yeah, yeah. So, what was this? A shield. Oh, yeah, we have the shield here and several other items. 
Wow, guys, you need to come to Baringo and see them one by one. Take your time. Oh, these were the stools before the modern sofa set, yes. guys. This is what our old people used to use, but we, we still have some people cultures, yeah, like but they are limited, mm. not a lot. Like for goats, uh -huh. for traditional medicines. medicines. Mm. Look at the traditional medicines. This was for malaria. People still take this, some. Yeah. Mm. Even now, oh, in the labs. Mm. Mm. Yeah, even labs. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. <coughs> traditional <coughs> medicines. Wow. <coughs> Evolution of man. Evolution of man. Our man. The, hey, hey, hey. Who knows how to uh, uh, read this? <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. So that is the evolution of man and their tools. Wow, so where are we right now? Homo sapiens. Oh, we are here. Homo sapiens. sapiens. Wow. <laughs> and then this down here, what are they? Fossils. Fossils. Fossils wood. We also have fossils wood. And at Philippa Mutamure. Wow. So we are here for a lot of years. Wow. Five hundred years plus. Wow. You have really done. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you have really done a lot of work by going to the field work and collecting and everything. Wow, that is a very awesome uh, work. Yeah, 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 yeah. What have you seen from inside there? Mm. Say, no, we have come here for an educational trip. Okay? Kayla, umona nini? Umona nini? What have you seen? I'm asking her what she has seen. Look, you need to. Hey, do what have you seen? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Yes. 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 Oh. Yes. The history of the Ilchams. Exhibition of Ilchams. Uh huh. About the Oh. But this one is for purely Ilchams. Wow. Okay. Does it mean that in Baringo County, the Ilchams are the only people who have been able to retain their culture? The Ilchams and the Pokot. Yeah, because for them to be here, uh -huh. who, who, who retained their culture somehow. Uh -huh. yeah. But the Tugen we already left because no one. Well, this you can imagine, guys. This was 1900. Imagine. And then I don't know this. This is how they used to live. Uh, this so how they used to live. You yeah. see people are naked. Imagine. Mm -hmm. You see people are li living to like this one. Yeah. One yeah. must become more than here. Yeah. And here. Yeah. This is the city of the collection from Calabas. 1976. Guys, you know, these people, they live very near from us. Very near from us. And I don't know why us, we, uh, we were modernized and now we live in a modern. So this is uh, for the Ilchamos. Yeah, we have already seen this. Wow. Guys. Ilchamos. Wow, look at them. Combined photos showing Elders and Moran. 1900. Mm. Wow. Oh, these are the ones. Mm. People didn't used to wear clothes. And then again, we have um, these are the clothing. These are clothing stands. Yeah. But we have belts. Oh, like. the belt. Mm. Wow. Mm. And this one is for ear. Earrings, traditional earrings, guys. But guys, come, come, come and come and read for yourself all these things. We can't. We will just show you. But for you to know the origin and everything, you need to come and read one by one because each place has something that has an history about the specific thing. So uh, this also is still the Ilchamus. From what is this going to this? Wow, I don't even understand this. Maybe you can tell us dress and ornamentation, the evolution of the dressing, right? Yeah. Oh, the evolution of the dressing. Yes, yes. Oh. You see, 
she has won. So oh, now. see, so this was in 1945, yeah, to wear this. 1945, 1990 to 1970. Uh -huh. So, this is how they dress now. Uh, we really need to market them to be like the Maasai. You know, the Maasai are known so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to market the Ilchamos so that people at least when they come to Kenya, mm -hmm. they also think of the Ilchamos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their history is really uh, interesting, educational, yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at this, and this is dress and on yes, ornamentation yes, still. Well, mm -hmm. guys, I hope you can see, but you need to be here in order to read these things one by one. This is finger millet. Yeah. So finger millet, we use it to make a uh, uji. Porridge. Porridge, yeah. <laughs> and also this is farming. Uh, is it time to plant all the Ilchamus crops? Wow. Wow, yeah. The, so this, these are their foods that they eat there. Wow, that is awesome. That is great. Our landscape. This is Baringo now, right? Mm. The landscape flooded Baringo in 1900. Wow. Where did you get this picture, by the way? <laughs> 1900. And the photo was taken yeah. by uh, Muzungu. John Stone. Wow. Mm. And this was flooded Baringo again in 1922. Uh, Port of Rome. Oh, which place was this specifically? Oh, oh, Lake Baringo. Lake yeah, Baringo. I didn't read ba Lake. Flooded wow. at Baringo still. Ndaka Ikaja. Oh, wow. So guys, like Baringo, if you come, you'll find an hotel there. We have hot springs. We call them hot springs. So there are also beautiful places that you can check out at in that place. And this is, do you recognize them? In the past uh, decades that... Oh... Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Okay, these are the people that have appeared in movies, they have worked hand in hand with um, media personnel and we don't know them. So if, oh, they are already traced. Mm. Wow, that is awesome, you've done a great job. Only these ones, they have not been traced. Like you see, during colonial times, most of us had, gone, had not gone to school. Mm. So they work with uh, media personnel, but they don't live behind the names. Those are the people, wow, fantastic. <laughs> wow, guys, I really encourage you to come here. And this is, oh, wow, the cars, wow. Oh, creativity, yeah, I remember when we were young, we used to make such things. But nowadays, everybody <laughs> Yeah, so African children, what we used to create and Mm. used to play with it, with them. Wow. Yeah, it's actually very Man. common. Man. And in the middle here, these are? These are nini. Is it a reel or? Not really. Oh, it's someone created it. The art in Kausha. The reel. Oh, it's, it, it was, this is an eagle. Yeah, this is an eagle. Oh, this one is an guys. Ibis. Ibis. This is the first time I'm, I'm coming very close to an eagle. Mm. Even if it's dead, it's still an eagle. Mm. Wow, I really appreciate the education that we are having here. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, you, I hope you are learning something. I hope you are learning something so that uh, it doesn't become minus after we come from here. You know, when we come back home here, I'll ask all of you, what did you see? So, I, will, I will ask everybody. Yeah. So if you will not remember, I will not take you to any other place. Okay? So, yeah. I, I'll need to ask them later so that uh, I can get to know if I'll still be continuing with uh, such things like taking them to places like this to learn. Oh, traditional medicines. Wow. We really keep our culture. It's all about heritage. Wow, this is medicine, this one. This tree is very common. What is it used for? 
Oh, you boil them, yeah, you boil and then you wash mm. your children with them. Yeah. What does it help these three guys? When the child eat me. Rashes. rashes. Oh, when the child mm. has rashes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can recognize this big mm. time because it's very common. Mm. So all these are traditional Medicine. medicines. Yeah. But you, you need to come here to ask specifically each of them. Mm. We can't tell you on the camera, right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Are you learning something? Are you learning something? If you are learning something good, but you need to come in order for you to learn a lot more of this in our local museum. Guys, we have a lot of things. Wow. See even the crocodile. They wake up. Reptiles. Wow, don't go near. Wow, guys, look at the crocodile. It's asleep. Mm -hmm. Why? But the eyes are open. Yeah. And it's asleep. Yeah. Munyama yoyota one kama it's not alive. And upon a the ship. Oh, life. Oh, this is how it survives. Mm -hmm. Like it pretends it's sleeping yeah, and dead. It is dead, but it is not. And then when yeah. an animal approaches it, mm -hmm. it it cuts. Wow. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Habitat, mm -hmm. they live throughout sub Saharan Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's raining. I think it's good if we head over to the other Let's go to areas. Oh, we are going to the snake park. And the wow. That is that is awesome. Who you are you? Ben. Huh? Ben. Iyo bagetu to match up kwa kiti. Unaweza tuweke kwa varanda. Asante. Guys, we forgot our bag over there. I forgot actually and it has the sweaters. So I was requesting Mr. Ben to put it in a shade so that it doesn't rain on it. Come we see the snake scaler. I hope you will not be scared of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is well, Toto is X. The eggs. Mm. Where are the eggs of a tortoise? Oh, well. But <laughs> my camera cannot zoom, so you need to be in person to see it. But I can see it very clearly. Look. Wow. Tortoise. How old are they? Oh, very old. Very old. Yes. How many years? A tortoise lives for 500 years. Wow. They do. At the small one is 20 years. What about these ones now? Come! You do! Come! 300 years. This one. Wow. Snake! Snake! Wow. Guys, I didn't know Toto is a slave. Woo! Woo! African rock python. Hey. This one can hit someone. <laughs> Where did you get it? Along... Mogotio Road. Mogotio Road. Yeah. This can eat a whole person or yeah. a child. At a booze. And the Katakana Mali makes a booze. Oh, it had uh, eaten a goat. Mm. Guys. Wow. Distribution. Mm. Wow. Shibadi. Sana. Mokula, so Nana Pila from Sap. Sunguranga. Sungura. Wow. How, how many days? In a cooler with a guy, eh? Sungura, Kuku, we are snake white. Oh, a little and goes in juice in the Unana for smart sana. Oh, it sheds after how long? We see it can see months. us. It just after feels like months. coming out yeah. and interacting with us. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let's go. Wow. So it was found along. Oh wow! I know this snake is very dangerous. Yeah, very very dangerous. Yeah. Black mamba. Where did you get this? Kabluk. Wow, Kabluk. Actually, guys, that is where my grandmother is right now. So when some yeah, so when someone finds a snake anywhere, which is the number that they should call? 
wanapika ya hospitali ama ya the hospital mm. oh yeah mm. because it is our place is mm. very rampant mm. with snakes mm. but this one i know i always know it's very dangerous mm. <coughs> very poisonous but it's yeah. not spitting it's spitting <coughs> ah it's not spitting yes it's spitting forest cobra oh we have so many types of cobra yeah black mamba Look at these children. <laughs> they are very scared. This is a forest cobra. And is it going to poison us? Very poisonous. Wow. If it bites you, uh, how long will you stay before? See, one hour, man. Wow, death can occur within 30 to 1 in case of severe. Wow, guys. Look at that. Within 30 minutes. Umenda. <laughs> that is scary. scary. <laughs> and then uh me I've never heard about this. Boomslang. Me I don't know about this. Where was it gotten? Wow. Common name Boomslang. Look at the common name Boomslang. Boomslang. Yeah. It will inflate its neck and the fore part of the body. Oh wow! Look, guys. Mm. Oh. So, even me, when I just see my blood, just goes like. Even these oh, ones, because yeah. these ones they look like stones most of the time. Yeah. So, mm. and I know they are also very, very, very poisonous. Uh, poisonous. Mm. I know these ones very poisonous. Young ones develop within and <laughs> egg. Wow. The diet is rodents, birds, amphibians. Wow. Mm. Guys, see, uh, distribution. This place, that is where actually my mother comes from. Or my, okay, I, I saw it. it was it breathing? Mm. And that is the place that my grandmother is right now. I think that's the reason as to why she didn't want us to construct a home there. Yeah. Because there are snakes like this, Mom! and then Mom! a lot of people have suffered from snakes, just yeah. like uh, the other Mom! side of the Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. Let's look at the brown spitting cobra. <laughs> spitting cobra. Uh, location. Look, distribution, guys. Still that place. Now I understand why my grandmother didn't want that place. But it's still our home, right? Mm. Well, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> okay, so these are the only places that you're supposed to be looking at. Uh -huh. Wow, guys. I'm really happy to be here. At least... I don't see this one. Yeah. Oh, Kanga. So in English, what are they called? Guinea fowls. Oh, what is the importance of keeping guinea fowls? Yeah, uh -huh. eggs. Uh -huh. Oh, you can eat a guinea fowl. Yeah. Guys, did you know that you can eat a guinea fowl? Me, I didn't know. I, I thought it is just to keep. Uh, them at home, mm -hmm. and then you need, you know when you have animals at home, you will feel like it's it's becoming a home or it's a home. Wow! I really loved uh, this segment of the video, and guys, I hope you've seen a lot. I, I hope you've also learned a lot. But you need to be here to learn a lot more because we didn't show you things like this, which describe everything especially when we were there we didn't show you a paper like this to understand everything of what is happening so guys uh, currently what i want to do is to find a local supermarket here and buy some shoppings so that i can be able actually to take it to my auntie i had actually told her that we will be visiting today and I am so happy that she is at home, you know. So we are going to say a lot together with my kids. And for me, it will be a fulfilling moment. And it's like an appreciation, uh, basically, what I'm trying to do. Appreciating him for what she did 
to me, you know. Like she's the reason as to why I went to school. She's the reason as to why, like my life became better. And that's why, guys, I want to actually each and every time when I come to this place, this my home now. Each, by the way, it's a walking distance. Like from where we live to where my auntie lives, it's a walking distance. But again, when I not, I think using the word but is kind of uh, off. When I actually come home each and every time when I visit home, you know what I ensure that I do? I must go and say hello to her. It has, just as a sign of, or as a sense of appreciation to her. Because for real, if it wasn't for her, I will be nowhere. I will never have attended any school in this Kenya. So I want to go by uh, this route here. Yeah? And then I think I'll go to a certain supermarket in, I don't know, you see our main market. Yeah, there is a supermarket there. I think I'll go in that supermarket, buy some few shoppings for her and just uh, go to her home and say hello. Yeah, like each and every time that I come here, I must always uh, pass through her home. Yeah, guys, so let's go and... I hope we will have a fantastic time and also what I'm going to do is to actually film because you know she actually where she lives you know anyway let us go and meet or see where she lives and I think um, all is going to be okay I hope to really take some videos there at the same time it's not far but anyway guys let's get there and then you will get uh, to see so today is on Saturday and it's basically market day but previously you know last time when I came there were so many people in this route but now they have actually moved the people who used to sell our clothes let's just say non-food items you know and guys you know it was just last year November not even far there were so many people in this route and in this place here behind the trees here. But uh, now they are actually down there in... Or can I, can I just take you there so that you may get uh, to see what I'm trying to actually say. So guys, uh, I am really happy and thank God that the village home has been awesome, it has been good, it has been great, enjoyable. I mean, in this life, as long as you have a roof over your head and food, I think everything always flows uh, to the vibe or everything just flows. I think most things that are stresses people is when you don't have maybe food and yeah, this is how it looks. It is like to vlog with children, like our minds we multitask basically trying to ensure that we are on the tra uh, right track trying to ensure that i talk to you and guy gosh like i'm like i really thank god you know god blessed us ladies with uh multi multitasking brains yeah like our brains we can focus on so many things at the same time so guys kindly uh continue watching continue watching our videos and if it's your first time here kindly consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell at the same time you know uh, where we are going to is actually down that hill like you see the hill here and then just uh, a little bit lower on the downhill so uh, this is our new market but just last year people used to sell on the other side of the road which i have shown you and at the same time we have sections where we sell food i think food and the non-edible items they're just like at par because on my right they sell uh, non-edible uh, things and on my left it's all about groceries anything edible and when i talk about edible th things <laughs> i don't know if you actually get to understand because if you sell edible it doesn't mean that you can't sell things like bags yeah so i thank god that uh, it looks awesome 
clean, not muddy, and all that. And at the same time, you know, so this is Baringo, basically, like Baringo County. And guys, you know, I didn't manage to visit so many places at the same time, like uh, due to, you know, when you have children, it's like they tie you. Sasa? Ukofiti? Ah, yeah. Una, so ni Sister Gladys. Tuna attending in the same church. Wapi? Uko LD, eh. Ah, yeah. Ni msalimi, eh? Ah, yeah. Okay, guys. Sorry for the disruption. I, actually, um, there is a friend of mine whom I featured in this uh, channel. We attend the same church. And I just met her sister and I was letting her know and at the same time saying hello to her. Now I have to walk really slowly because of the kids, you know. My steps are not the same as theirs. So I'll just have to like walk according to their steps. Anyway, guys. This is not the only uh, space where they sell foods, food items. Also on the other side, like, I wish I had, like, the time to take you through our market. And all, because today is basically market day. We always have market days on Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. But at the same time, our county government has a program where in each and every location, like, specific locations not everywhere because our county is basically uh huge it's kind of uh, it has been divided into you see like how districts are actually being divided it's like that like within our town we have other towns so like mini mini towns or even uh, kind of i don't know because on Mondays, it will be here, Tuesdays, another place, Wednesday, and all that. That's how our business people like, um, manage to go each and every place. So it will depend on market days. If you want to remain well and good, if you would want to go to maybe another place to do your business, it depends. It's up to the business owner. So we want to go to this, uh, supermarket here buy some few items for my auntie although in my native language it's not really good to describe or to call the sister to your dad as auntie like you see we normally describe aunties as people who work for you but for us we respectfully call our sisters to our dad like we use the native language senge yeah it sounds more okay but you have a bike anyway, yeah you have a bike so um i think we'll just do a couple of you ha <laughs> but you had one and you never rode it so what can we do about that so i think uh Taking or buying a tissue for her sounds uh, better or it's a good idea. So I'm basically looking uh, at the prices. Like I'll just take the common things like when you see these items that you use every day, like every day. So yeah. Yeah. Velvets. So I'm trying to look at the price so that... Uh, I can basically buy, yeah, so I'll take a tissue, no, don't take that, that's a ball, wow, and then sugar, you see these things that you always use, yeah, and then, okay, you know, in, in Africa specifically, if you want to visit someone or somebody, like, it's always good not to go empty, and then come here. Always good. Like you should never go empty handed. But again, uh, you just uh, find people going empty handed. So, um, yes, for me, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. One kg is 125. Wow. Two kgs is uh, 350 for cabras. Wow. And then golf. 2kg is 350 it is the same actually i'm looking at uh, the prices here Mom, i hope you can Mom, see so cabras is normally one of the best one is not uh -huh. circle. I need circle. okay okay we'll look for it 
Cabras is always like uh, the best now. Mumias. Oh, we also have Mumias. And they all go for three. What? Let me promote our company here. Where is the 2kg of it? I think it's not even there. So I'll just take this. Yeah. What do you think of my idea? Buying like uh these things that must be used on a daily on a yeah, like daily daily daily. Wow. And now cooking oil has really gone up. Yeah. Yeah. So can we look for uh can we buy a bread, a loaf of bread? I think it's a good idea. If we get one, okay. What again? Salt. Shortcut. Okay, okay. And then we get salt. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen salt? Anywhere. Wapi? Yeah, I think. Oh, and you just sat there. So, uh, huh. so I need the 500 grams one. 500 grams is 199. Oh, wow. Let me buy this. Like, you must use this. Yes, yes. I am doing a video, kindly. I am doing a video. But you, you are talking. You know, they are coughing and they want cold things. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't. So, how much for salt? 85 and then for this. Let me take the big one. And what? I think this is a good idea also. Yeah. What else? Is it a day of a Okay, guys, so let, let us uh, finish doing our uh, shopping. And then I will talk to you when I get there. I think that's the best, uh, the best decision that. I can actually, uh, let me see if I can find some tips here for the kids. Yeah, because I have two cousins of mine over there, plus them. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's look for... Or we buy this I don't know. I am conflicted between uh, snacks and soda. and Because there are four, actually. There are four kids, but the other ones are a bit bigger. But, guys, I think this is uh, at least better. <laughs> That's what I can say. I think it's better. Right. Uh-huh. What is that? Me, I don't yeah. even know. Oh, blue raspberry. Yeah. And then you have the pink one. So I think we can get a biscuit. Yeah. I think a biscuit is better, right? No. Yeah? And then you go and this is uh our cousins, right? I think that's a good idea. But I'm yet, I'm really conflicted about it. Yeah. So guys, uh, we have arrived. So uh, this is where actually um, Cabernet School for Learners Who Are Deaf, Blind, 